we are back and Sharp Shopper was a whole lot of fun, just like I anticipated it was gonna be. Uh, Lou and I had a great time. And uh, so you saw most of the things in the store that I put in the cart, the stuff that I was just oh so excited about. A few, a few surprises, a few upsets here and there for you guys. And I'll go ahead and show that to you. We did also stop at uh, uh, True Value. There's a True Value there. Uh, just right in the same parking lot. And um, that is a, a family-run business in this sweet little town in Virginia here. And uh, I, I did not take you in there with me, but, and I only bought like three little things. Yeah, just three little things, but it's kind of one of the reasons why I even took the trip in the first place. You won't believe what I, <laughs> what I took this trip and took a whole day for. Yeah, I'll show you at the very end of this video. <laughs> oh, Annette. All right, right back there, I got these wonderful ocean sprays, and that is a cranberry watermelon. I have to say, we've had this before. It is delicious, and it was $1.49. So, yes, I got two of them. I do, because usually I like to fill a big cup with ice and about 85% mm, water, and the rest I pour in a little bit of juice, and I'm good to go for the day. Uh, right next door, Lou threw these, these uh, in at the last minute, and they were two for $6. It's a very, very large bag, those pretzels. He likes those. Uh, he's on his own there because I can't stand those. <laughs> I just never like pretzels much. Um, then we got these sweet little dog treats. Had to get Brownie and Nala something. So, yeah, Nala's visiting this weekend. She's our son's little dog. So, these are sweet little peanut butters. Trisha Yearwood. And look, they're these sweet little hearts. So they're already enjoying those. I think those have been cracked open. Uh, I did get that pancake mix, butter, buttermilk mix, and I know I will not be disappointed in this because I have had this brand from up there uh, before, the New Hope brand. Right here, I got this great big bag of raw pecans, the whole, what is it, 20, 24 ounces. And let's see how much that was, guys, $7.99. I think that's not too bad, you know, considering what's been going on in the grocery. Some pirate's booty back here we got. And um, that's that aged white cheddar. Those things are so good. Now it's not popcorn. It's like a puffy, puffy cheesy. It's just yummy. It's just really good. And then there's another huge bag and I don't even remember what I paid for, but I think probably around three something. Uh, these little apple pie snaps are so delicious and I have something in mind. So I did buy two of them and they were two for five. Back here, you'll see that in the store, I even made mention of this uh, organic cold brew coffee. If you remember, what, a video, two videos ago, I can't remember now. <laughs> I did that uh, uh, Starbucks uh, pumpkin cream cold brew. Boy, was that good. I just finished the last one last night and it was such a treat. So I am anxious. One is oat milk latte and Let's see, did he get two of the same? Yes, he did. He did. He got two of the same. All right, well, I hope he likes them. I hope we both like them. But anyway, okay, I did end up getting this little old-fashioned crisp. All you have to do, apparently, is uh, add a can or two of uh, your favorite pie filling, like apple pie filling, like they show here. That's what I would use. And just mix this crumble on top. I'm not sure what I have to add to it yet. Probably butter. But, you know, you can just make your own so fast, but for... $1.19, we'll give it a try. And then I did get some of this Mrs. Wages chili base and we'll see what that's all about. I don't know. I may have to use it in a different way, but we will see. All right, Lou also threw in some of these walnuts. He bought two bags, one bag he's already been into. <laughs> that's my Lou. I got some of this grill and saute, what is it? Grill and Saute Cooking Spray, and that is a huge can. Um, I've used this brand before and it's excellent, so I think I'm gonna probably like that. I got some of these cute sprinkles. I love keeping like birthday sprinkles and fun celebratory style sprinkles around the house. And then yes, I did get all of those sweet little things, those little flavorings. They are great. The marshmallow so far, I would say the marshmallow is the best, but the maple is very good too. Very good, and those two ranch packets. These are excellent, just excellent. I may open these up and put them in a quart jar 
or a pint jar and uh, seal them with my vacuum sealer uh, so they don't go bad. But um, that's easy. You just go in there and take a spoonful of something and throw it in some ranch, uh, some uh, sour cream, and that you can make all kinds of wonderful pasta dishes and chicken dishes. And yes, I will be doing that. You can count on it. And now in, we further down that spice aisle, which I just fell in love with. I do every single time. For $4.39, I got this great big Costco size everything mix seasoning. I smelled it and oh, it smells so good. And then the um, everything bagel down there. I am gonna be, ma be making some um, sourdough bread today, as a matter of fact, uh, or maybe tomorrow. And I wanted to sprinkle that on top. So I think that'll work out just fine. And then a great big pumpkin spice. You all know I love these, to have one of these for the back of my stove potpourris that I have going on the back of my stove. Okay, <laughs> good place for it. And some garlic salt. This is gonna be so delicious. I have bought this before and I just use it up and it's salt free. So I kinda of like that because I like to add my own salt and pepper to everything I make. So I never buy like garlic salt or onion salt. I always buy the powders or the granulated. Um, that's fine too. And then I did pick up just one of the chicken broths because I do have some hanging around here. And of course I do have a bunch of mine down in the freezer. Uh, Lou saw these socks. So he picked up, um, I don't know, I don't, let's see, I guess there's four pairs of men's socks in there for $6.99. And they're heavy. They're, they're gonna be really nice for, um, for the winter. Yeah, I think he'll really like that. And then back here, we got some hydrogen uh, peroxide. It's just good to have that in the house. We use it for oral care and just all kinds of things. So I think he picked up uh, six bottles of those. Very, very inexpensive. Um, here's some milk. We've got a gallon of milk. We've already, <laughs> we've already downed some of that or used it for something I needed today already. And that was three, what, $3.99. Now that was high. I was almost not gonna buy it there and stop at Lidl on the way home for $1.97. So I don't, I don't get it. I, I, it was just kind of a mixed messages going on there at that store today. All right, let me move this over here. And then look at this. I found some sweet tea, diet sweet tea. Now, it's just a little bit here and I'm gonna give it a try. I have not tried it yet, bought it for $1.39. I thought, well, you know, I don't drink sweet tea anymore. I don't even make it because there's so much sugar, it just kind of makes me sick to even think about it, so I don't. But when I saw that, I thought, I just probably need to try that, and I have my own lemon here, so I can probably make a nice drink work out of that. And here we got um, some half and half. Now this was $3.69. I think that's just around the price of Aldi and Lidl both, and some uh, buttermilk. Now this is low fat buttermilk, or reduced, reduced fat. Um, I hope it works just as good. And that was $2.49. And these, I was so excited to find these for like my soups and um, stews and, and all that stuff is coming up now, the season, tis the season. These are so nice. They're even nicer now than they were in the store. For $2.99, you get 10, 10 of them or eight, eight or, no, it's 10. And sorry. <laughs> are just, like I said in the store, they are nice and firm and really, really beautiful. Um, I should have cracked that open just to show you guys. But I did get two, two of those, two sets of those, because I'm always making stock and I don't always know what to put it in. And those are perfect for the freezer and you can reuse them. So it's just, it's a good deal all around. All right. And then our little trek to true value. Well, look at this. Isn't that adorable? Okay, some of my flavorings are going in here, my extracts, probably vanilla. Um, although I have so many, if you guys remember all those extras that I made, I have so many vanillas going right now. It's a beautiful thing, it is. And I did make orange as well. So I may put the orange in here because I have other pretty bottles that I have set aside for my vanillas. And then look at these, guys, this is what I took the whole entire trip for. I, I bought one a couple months ago when we were up there. It's a cup, a little tin cup measurer. And I keep it in my flower bin here on the counter, but I wanted one for my sugar. And then I have also self-rising flour up there too. 
So I bought one to stick in my uh, self-rising flower bin as well. Is that crazy? Was it crazy to take the trip just for that? <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being here with me today. I had a really good time showing all my goodies to you. And, um, you know, it is important, it is important to get away from your everyday surroundings. If you live in your house, if you live at the office, <laughs> you're just, you find yourself plopped in front of the TV more often than not. Get out as best you can. If there's a sweet little town near you, uh, go, just go for the day and get a little walking in or just go drive somewhere that's particularly beautiful that's near you, maybe an hour, an hour and a half away. Give yourself a max time, uh, you know, a, amount of miles that you're willing to drive and pick up a buddy or take your wife or your husband, your spouse, your best friend, your, your sister, your mother, your, anybody, just grab somebody and go have a good time. Even if you just stop to get a drink or a burger or a sandwich or something, it is good to leave our surroundings and go and do something different. Thank you again so much for joining me here. I'm Darlene, this is Secret 60. I'll see you guys soon. Lord bless.